Hey everyone, this is Stefan over at Sound Collective Studio. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the alternative function inside of Logic Pro 10. And the purpose of the alternative function is to allow you to recall certain points in time during the production and mixing process. So for example, the way that I work, I work in stages. So I lay, in, lay out all my stems, I do a mix prep, I do a static mix, I do all the dynamic processing, I go into effects and then automation. And I'll create alternatives in case I ever need to go back to that specific point in time very easily and intuitively inside of Logic. Um, to create an alternative, you go to File, Alternatives, New Alternative, you name it what you want, and then click OK and Logic saves it. And this is a much faster way than just doing a save as, save as, save as each time you want to save a certain point um, within your process. It's uh, very intuitive, it's just laid out right in front of you, as you can see, when I go to the Alternatives tab. I just have my three current alternatives. And this is great, especially if you're working for a higher paid gig. Um, if you always want to send more than one mix, you know, people love options. Uh, this includes, you know, for production, if you're working with a client or your own musical idea, and you want to create two different takes on that idea, it's very easily just to create an alternative and jump back between the two and see which one you like more. Um, to show how quickly or how quick the alternative works, I'm going to go ahead and open up to the very beginning where I just uh, loaded the stems into Logic. And there it is. It's super easy. It's uh, tightened up my workflow since I've discovered it. Um, and just to illustrate again how fast it is, we'll go back to the static mix portion. And yeah, I mean, obviously, there's no plugins on anything yet. So when you have plugins, it's going to take a little bit more time to jump back and forth uh, the different alternatives. But hopefully this video has helped you. If you guys have any suggestions about videos that you would like to see concerning uh, production, mixing, and mastering, uh, please leave them in the comment section. And thank you for watching. Bye.